In this video I'm going to talk about certifications in English. Do I need a certification in English? The short answer is yes, but let's see why and how. <coughs> Here uh, I mentioned three of the most popular certifications in English, TOEFL, IELTS and Cambridge because when you look for a job you don't need to say that your level of English is 70% or 80% that doesn't mean anything you don't speak your native language even at 100% maybe it's the same 80% 80, 80 or lower <coughs> And universities and companies use the Common European Framework of Reference, which is worldwide known for measuring the, the level of English. Let's begin with the TOEFL. It stands for Test of English as a Foreign Language. There are two main tests, the TOEFL ITP, that only measures the listening, reading, grammar and vocabulary. The TOEFL IBT measures the four skills listening, reading, speaking and writing. The TOEFL ITP uh, doesn't measure, measure the speaking and writing because it's more to check the progress that a student can have uh, in university. And in fact, most universities uh, take the TOEFL ITP as a reference for graduates or undergraduates. And the uh, TOEFL ITP score ranges are from A2 to C1. I'm going to, to put on the comments below more information about every certification. The next one is the IELTS. It stands for International English Language Testing System. There are two types, general and academic. Uh, the main difference is the academic is focused only for academic topics and is required in many universities. The general test is more for business English. And here you can see the IELTS band scores from A2 to C2. And the Cambridge certification focuses on your current level. That is, if you finish university, you may take the PET, Preliminary English Test, to confirm that your level of English is B1. But if you continue with your studies and um, you think your level of English is C1, then you can get the Certificate of uh, Advanced English. So which one should I take? Well, if you study at university, uh, it's more probable that you need the TOEFL ITP. Obviously, you can uh, take another, but to start, it's uh, it's good the TOEFL ITP. Go for more than B1. After assuring that your level is at least B1, you continue. You must continue studying in English to improve up to B2 or at least C1 so you can show a native speaker that you can communicate fluently and clearly you can enjoy movies in english without subtitles you can enjoy a play at the theater you can enjoy live events or listening to music or podcasts understanding most of what they say or sing so i encourage you to study hard 
to get the B1 level if you are at university and go for the B2 or C1 levels it's it's really much better in this global world so I'm going to put uh, more information ab um, about these certifications and if you have any comments please do it in the comments below thank you